Hello and welcome to Graduation 2020. Obviously, this is not what we wanted to have happen, but here we are and we're making the best of it, just as we've done this whole year and as you've done, not only this year, but to get to this achievement. So congratulations. From those of us in academics, we're very proud of you. We've worked along with you, but bottom line, this is your achievement and we're very proud of you. Know that we're always here to help you with your future goals, so don't ever hesitate to reach out. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our graduation speaker today, Dr. Aaron Thompson, who is president of Kentucky's Council on Post-Secondary Education. Hello, my name is Aaron Thompson, and I'm the head of public higher education here in our great state of Kentucky. It is my great honor and privilege to be with you today to offer my congratulations to you as you receive your degree or credential and ready yourself to take the next step in your educational career. And you also may be not continuing education and going into your career now. So I want to congratulate you on that milestone. Now my message today is fairly simple and that is higher education matters and now more than ever. Your education will improve your standard of living and quality of life in ways you can't yet even imagine. Additionally, by getting this credential, you are helping to improve the quality of Kentucky's workforce. Now, if enough people follow your lead, we'll experience greater job growth, job creation, and economic development opportunities that will benefit our entire state now and into the future. And for that, I thank you. Now, I probably don't need to tell you that higher education matters. If you don't believe that, you wouldn't be here today. But why does it matter? And I want to tell you, why does it matter now more than ever? Now, among the many challenges that COVID-19 has brought us is that it's making us reconsider the long-term security of many of the jobs we normally have in the state. The jobs hit hardest by this pandemic are those minimum wage positions in the hospitality area and in the retail sectors. Now, many of those jobs have disappeared during this pandemic and unfortunately may never return. Now, on the other hand, people working in positions that do require a college credential, they on the whole are not only surviving, but they're thriving. They've been able to work remotely from home and they've stayed safe in their homes while doing so. More importantly, they are best positioned to take advantage of the jobs of the future. Now, what do I mean by that phrase? Well, a recently released report by the World Economic Forum and a Boston consulting firm suggests that America will see one million jobs vanish completely by the year 2026. And this is due mainly to technology. And this is really rendering many of those jobs obsolete. So what kind of jobs will replace them, then we ask? Already we're seeing that most of the new jobs being created require higher levels of education and training. In fact, in the decades since the Great Recession of 1998 and 99, 99 99% of those new American jobs required a college experience. This is a trend that is only expected to accelerate. The skills that we most have in demand now and those that will be for the future are those that cannot be automated. The ability to solve complex problems, the ability to communicate effectively, both oral and written, the ability to create new products and services, to manage teams and to teach even, and also to take care of others. These are the types of skills that will make you employable now and way into the future. By completing your credential at BCTC, you are more prepared for the future of work than you've ever been in your life. If you go on to complete even further education and training, you'll even have more doors open up to you. Now, when you decide to enroll at BCTC, you increased your odds for a better future, a more rewarding future. And year after year, research published by the College Board shows that college graduates earn more money, enjoy better health, and we live longer. They are much less likely to contract COVID-19 even. They are less likely to be incarcerated and suffer from substance abuse. 
So statistically, their children even do better, not only in school, but in life. And they even have a greater chance of going to college. College graduates vote more often, we volunteer more often, we contribute more to charitable causes. And there are even studies that show people that have a college credential of some sort are happier. And I like that. In short, higher education unlocks the human potential. It makes us more human. It allows us to explore our interests, to train for a career that challenges and inspires us. It gives us a greater sense of life and meaning and of overall purpose. Now there's another reason college prepares you for the future of work. It introduces you to people with viewpoints that you may not have encountered in the past. College might be the first real opportunity you've had to interact with people from diverse backgrounds. Now this is important. It's clearly important because America is growing more diverse with each passing year. By the year 2045, America is expected to be a minority majority nation. So no matter what profession you enter, you'll find yourself working alongside people of all races, all ethnicities, genders, religions, and sexual orientations. So the appreciation that you have of diversity that college instilled in you is a part of what makes you more human and makes you more valuable to the workplace. And what I know is we learn more from people different from us than people like us. Now, I want to end my message on a more personal note. I am a kid born in the hills of Appalachia. I was born in Clay County, Kentucky. I was born in a log cabin to an illiterate father who was a sharecropper also and a coal miner and a mother who had an eighth grade education. Now, although my father didn't have an opportunity to get an education, he talked to me about the value of education. He used to say to me, son, if you get an education, you won't have to break your back in the coal mines. Now, my father worked in the coal mines from age 10 to age 60 because that was his only choice. And so I took it, what he was telling me, as I would have options. Now, my mother, on the other hand, she was the person that said, boy, she had to make great education. She said, if you get an education, you'll learn how to count your money. And I took that as education would give me prosperity, economic prosperity. And she was, she was going through the times of her lives in the 20s and 30s and 40s through Jim Crow. So she knew that education had a lot more value than money, but she said, this would give you an opportunity to direct your life if you could have money. So to me, that was a clear message to me that education not only gave me the opportunity to have economic prosperity, but it gave me an opportunity to have prosperity overall. So as a first generation high school student, a first generation college student, a first generation graduate student, I'm telling you for me, higher education matters. It still remains the most effective tool we have to combat intergenerational poverty. It gives us the best tool to create wealth, to build social capital, to improve our overall health and quality of life, and to preserve the quality of our democracy. And Lord have mercy, we need to be thinking about that. Now, as you go out into this world as graduates of Bluegrass Community and Technical College, I'd like for you to do the following. First of all, consider continuing your education and pursue a baccalaureate degree. Or if you go into the work world, look within your career opportunities to get more education, more training, more anything you can to make sure you keep pace with the future of work. Secondarily, please serve as a role model and a mentor for someone who may not think that college is possible or even think that it's worth it. If every single one of you listening to this message was able to influence just one person to go to college, think about how powerful that would be, not only for you, but for them and for our society as a whole. So as we go out into this understanding as a college graduate, even during this time that's unprecedented, just know you're going to matter. Just know that this credential you got from Bluegrass Community and Technical College matters. So as I've shared my story with you, tell your story. Let people know how it has mattered to you. But more than anything else, I want you to know just how valuable this credential is to you 
and to your family and to the state of Kentucky and to this nation and to our society as a whole. So thank you for allowing me to share this unprecedented commencement with you during this unprecedented time. And I encourage you to be an ambassador for higher education. And just as I shared my story with you, I ask you that you share your story with others. And I look forward to actually seeing you in the process of helping many people to become that person now that you have. And just know, that collectively, as a group of people who believe that higher education matters, we will build a stronger Commonwealth of Kentucky. We will build a stronger nation, and we will build a stronger society as a whole. So I look forward in the years ahead being there with you, and I want to thank you for allowing me to be a small part of this wonderful day. And I hope you have all the kinds of things that you dreamed up in life, and I hope that I can be a part of that somewhere down the road as I talk to you about it again. Thank you. You did it. You worked so hard for today and now it's time to celebrate. Congratulations and good luck with the next chapter of your lives. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Advanced Manufacturing Division of Bluegrass Community Technical College, we applaud you for your endurance and your hard work as you pursued your academic goals and ultimately completed your requirements for your degree. We also wish you the best as you journey through the rest of your life in seeking other goals and as you enter the many, many doors that this accomplishment will open. So with that, we leave you with a heartfelt and sincere congratulations. From the Humanities Division at Bluegrass Community and Technical College, a message for our graduates. Dear graduates, your future is bright and strong. We wish you the best. Congratulations, skilled trades graduates, and welcome to your new profession. We here at BCTC are so proud of your hard work and dedication, as I'm sure your family and friends are. Enjoy today, celebrate, and then tomorrow you're off on a new path towards your professional career in life. I would encourage you to continue to challenge yourself to gain skills and more education so that you can build something that is worthy of your potential. Stay well and best of luck. Congratulations to the graduates of the CHLSS division, which includes communications, history, languages, and social sciences, and also includes the programs criminal justice, education, interdisciplinary early childhood education, and human services. Congratulations, we are so very proud of each of you and your accomplishment. Best wishes for a bright future. Congratulations to all the graduates in the Business Computers and Information Systems Division, including Computer Information Technologies, Graphic Design and Library Technologies, Business Administration, Supplies Chain Studies, Administrative Office Technologies, and Filmmaking and Cinematic Arts. We are so proud of you and look forward to watching you achieve all your dreams. Hello, everyone. On behalf of the nursing faculty and the administration, I'd like to offer sincere congratulations to the BCTC graduates in the nursing division. Our hope is that the education you received will be the beginning of a wonderful nursing career. I know that you'll represent BCTC well. Go and be great. Way to go, graduates. Congratulations from the Math and Statistics Division. You came to BCTC with a goal and you accomplished it. Pat yourself on the back. We're proud of you and wish you every luck in your future endeavors. Strive for success and may it grow exponentially. Hello, BCTC graduates. Congratulations, you made it. Um, my name is Val Zepps. I'm with the Natural Sciences Division. And on behalf of them, we'd like to congratulate you on your accomplishments uh, with your time here with BCTC. And uh, good luck to you as you move on uh, either to a career uh, with your technical skills that you learned or on to a, a four-year university to a, achieve a bachelor's degree. Best of luck to you. Congratulations, BCTC graduates. You are now a BCTC alumnus. 
You will always be part of our family. I'm Mark Manuel, the BCTC Foundation Executive Director. Make sure that you take your cling and put it on your car and proudly display it all over town. Make sure you take your yard sign, get a picture of it, put it all over your social media. Use this hashtag so we can follow you and keep up with what you're doing. Make sure you make a LinkedIn account that will help you in your profession. Put us down as your education so that we can follow you and you can follow us. As part, of a B, as part of being a BCTC alumni, remember as you go forward in your career, we want you to pay it forward to some of our future students. Congratulations again. Class of 2020, Board of Directors, faculty, staff, family and friends, welcome to BCTC 2020 virtual graduation celebration. What a rough time this past few months have been to us. I know this is not how you envision your graduation to be. Me neither. These are truly unprecedented times. I did not expect this at the dawn of year 2020, that I will be addressing you virtually in December for the celebration of your accomplishments. However, let me begin with a sincere appreciation and gratitude to you, our graduates, our faculty and staff for the many sacrifices you all have made to get us to this point. It was truly a collective effort, wasn't it? You all have risen to the challenge and have adapted impeccably to our new reality under COVID-19. It hasn't been easy, but you did it. Graduates, I cannot be more proud of you. I am so impressed by the way you have switched from our regular ways of instruction to fully online instruction while overcoming all the challenges and obstacles that came with it. Faculty and staff, it has not been easy on you either, but I have seen you over this past month, how hard all of you have worked to ensure our students were not only cared for, but also kept their progress on track for graduation. Faculty, I still remember how we had to instantaneously pivot from everything that we used to do to a complete new way of doing things. Staff, I continue to be amazed by your creativity as you continue to provide as best you can services to best serve the needs of our students while allowing our esteemed college to continue to function effectively. Once again, my sincere appreciation and gratitude to you all. Despite these challenges, we are still able to celebrate our graduates. As is my practice, I enjoy seeing you inside and outside of the classroom, in your offices and in the hallways. But due to COVID-19, we're not together in the way we have always been. So much have changed as a, as a result of this pandemic. Even our pleasure of being together, giving high fives, spending time together, laughing together, sharing meals, or even hugging each other are no more. Believe me, the hardship is real and painful. It has taken more from us than we can imagine. However, students, how you respond to this depends entirely on you. I encourage you to remember this statement of John Wooden. Things turn out to the best for the people who make the best of the way things turn out. Even though COVID-19 disrupted our lives, this also comes at a very important time in your life. The conclusion of a great chapter 
and the commencement of another. I know as Oprah Winfrey said, you may not feel like it, but you are indeed the chosen class whose graduation ceremonies across the country have been canceled due to COVID-19. You are a united class, the class that has the entire world striving to graduate with. Never has a graduating class been called to step into the future with more purpose, vision, passion, energy, and hope. My hope for each of you is that you go on to be mission-driven, to great success, and to help others in your communities and in your profession. Please remember, success is measured by the realization of your vision. Congratulations once again, and I look forward to congratulating some of you in person soon. Thank you.